Let's go over a quotes delta column to the right of the book map chart next to the price ladder. In this current order book column here, I'll right click, insert a new column, and then in the new column, I'll right click again, and I'm going to come down and I'm going to select the quotes delta counter here. All right, so the heading here is plus and minus, and the data that's being displayed here relates to the current order book. But instead of the amount of liquidity per price level, it's showing the delta, the amount of liquidity that is either added or pulled from those price levels. A positive number shows that liquidity was added at that price level. A negative number is liquidity that was pulled. The red rectangle here is showing liquidity added or pulled at the best offer. And the green rectangle is liquidity added or pulled at the best bid. Note that the delta number resets after each update of the best bid and ask. Now let's go through some of the configurations. I'll right click here and select configure column. And the configurations are different from other columns. You can show the bid or the ask, but here you can set the maximum depth. So if you want to set 10 levels, then you can see there's another bold number that pops up on the other side of this white line. This is the aggregate here that is pulled or added from the ask side. And down below, this is added or pulled liquidity, the aggregate uh, on the bid side. So this is a helpful tool if you want to look at very specific levels of liquidity on the aggregate. So for example, let's say you want to look at the inside market, like the first three or four price levels then select three and you can look at the liquidity added and pulled from those three levels and you get the aggregate as well. Let's go back to the full depth. You can change the colors. Uh, you can split the display, inverse that split if you like, or you can align it to the left, to the center, or to the right. 